In this video, I try to beat Terraria, but every single recipe is completely randomized, meaning that even a single block of dirt could be the recipe to create the legendary sword Zenith. Will I get lucky and be able to craft some godly items? Stay tuned to find out. Alright guys, let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do, get some wood. And then we'll see what we can make with wood. We can make the Monk's Belt. Increases max number of centuries by 1 and minion and minion damage by 10%. Uh, I don't think it's going to be very useful. Especially in the early game. Since I'm not going to have any... I, I mean, I guess I could get the Finch Staff. But that's about it. But yeah, for this video, I'm going to have to like gather anything and everything I can possibly get just so I know what I can make because every single recipe is completely random and it doesn't seem like dirt block uh, can make us anything which is kind of unfortunate imagine if like a single dirt block can make us zenith that would be insane Okay, we can make some mangoes with some cacti. Interesting. Oh, what the? Rope can be made into crystal chest and 32 of them? Wait, that's kind of insane. Oh my god. A single... Wait, no. Oh yeah. A single gel and a piece of wood can make 763 ebon wood platform. Okay, yeah, we'll take that. We'll take that. I need some torches so I can start uh, visiting or exploring some caves. Oh, perfect. Okay, got an aglet. Wait, what? Falcon blade? Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, a huge upgrade from the copper short sword. 25 damage. And then we got the radar. Oh my god, no way. Okay, we got the leaf blower. We don't have a lot of mana. That's the problem. Maybe there's like a recipe that can give us a lot of mana stars. I'm really hoping on that. Okay, so I just realized um, we might have a problem. So since I can't really make a crafting table for the furnace or anvil, yeah, I'm kind of stuck. So we're gonna have to figure that out later. Okay, we got a house over here. Ooh, yes. Okay. Perfect. Clout in a bottle. We're also gonna have to um like pick up any of these things. They're like workstations or yeah, workstations. Because you'd never know if this can be used for something very useful. An amethyst, okay. The gladius? Gladius? Is it better than this thing though? Let's see. Oh, godly, okay. Oh. Okay, okay. Maybe. It does seem like it attacks a lot faster. Wait, I just remembered. Um, I'm pretty sure the, the merchant sells an anvil. So, yeah, the next step I'm going to do is make a ton of houses, and then we're going to get a lot of NPCs to spawn in, and hopefully they can sell me something useful, things that I can uh, craft with. Oh my god, but I do need some chairs, and I can't really make them right now. Living loom. Okay. I guess we can find a living wood tree first. Oh, might as well collect different types of wood as well. Okay, never mind. I can make some topaz gem spark walls. Oh, it's ice chest. Yeah, I did say I was gonna go to the living wood tree, but I wanna explore the uh, the ice biome first. Wait, we can make a lizard furnace. Will this work as a regular furnace though? 
Not sure. We're gonna have to test it out later. Oh, okay. Oh, a loom. We'll take that. And then got some ice skates. Another ice chest over there. And a life crystal. Okay. What can we make with this, though? Oh, nothing. Okay. We'll just use it then. Oh, yes. Perfect. I love to see flurry boots. Or Hermes boots. Got a Viking helmet. Or defense. We'll take that. We'll take that. Alright, I'm gonna go get the hook first from the spider's nest. And then we'll uh, go to the living wood trees. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yes. Alright, I'm gonna see if we can find anything down here. Oh, okay. Let's go back. I got some coral, though. We can make the storm spear. Yeah, sure. Why not? I mean, the damage isn't that bad. Okay, here's one. There should be a living loom in here, though. Oh. No, it's not. What? Oh my... I got baited. No way. Okay. This is getting a little scary. Hopefully there's some more trees. Well, I mean, since I'm already here in the jungle, I might as well explore it a bit. Oh! Wait. So that's an enchanted sword. Oh, wow, there's two here. 200, and then this should be 220. Alright, next night, um, I think I'm gonna kill the e or I have Cthulhu. Got some decent health and pretty strong weapons. Alright, I think I'm just gonna go kill the Eater of Worlds now. Yeah, as long as I can manage my mana and just hit the head only, I should be good. Oh, I need that though. There we go. Ow. Okay, maybe I'm not ready for this. Oh my god, okay. Oh, I didn't realize there's another one right in the middle. Okay, surely this one has to have the living loom. There it is. Perfect. Okay, there we go. Now we can make some golden chairs. However, we do need um, workbenches. Oh wait, we have a bottle, don't we? Yeah, yeah, okay. And then we just need to find that vile mushroom. There it is. Uh, there we go. Blue dungeon workbench. Perfect. Alright, and then I'm going to go summon the Eye of Cthulhu real quick. Oh wait, no, it's getting lighter. Oh, never mind. Oh no, we got... Uh... Nah, I can't risk it. I can't risk it. I can always sleep in my bed to speed up time. For now, let's go make some of our NPC houses. Here we go. So now we just have to wait for the merchant to arrive and then we can buy the uh, anvil from him. Hey, there we go. Wait. I have a great idea. How much do these go for? <laughs> yes. Yes, okay. So, money is definitely not going to be a problem for this playthrough. And then, for sure I can definitely kill the Eat of Worlds now. Since I won't run out of mana. I ruined the arms dealer. Oh, we could buy the mini shark too. Wow. Let's do it. Okay, and now the Demolitionist has arrived. Okay, what I'm thinking of is just using dynamites to get down to hell. Uh, it doesn't seem like I'll be able to upgrade my copper pickaxe anytime soon. And if I just use this to uh, mine down to hell, it's going to take way too long. But yeah, we'll use dynamite. Alright, it is now nighttime. Let us begin. Three, two, one, go.
Wait, which one's my mana potion? Oh, it's H. Right, right. Oh, oh my god. What oh, no, was J? I'm just gonna need- Nah, let's not use the nurse. We got this, right? Yeah, we got this. <laughs> Alright. Now we got the Shield of Cthulhu. Alright, doesn't seem like I can make anything with Ebonite Ore, except the Kraken, which is later on though. Once I enter hard mode, all I all I need is the furnace. All right, now we can go to, or we can try the Eater of Worlds again. All right, now let's go. Go go go. Oh yes, this is perfect. No 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 no. Just keep healing the head. Get the head. Yeah yeah. Oh god. Oh. Oh god, it's so hard pressing these buttons. <laughs> oh. Okay, I mean, we did pretty good. Hopefully, I can make something with these shadow skills. Oh, goblin army, okay. Looks like we'll be able to get the uh, goblin tinker after we defeat them. Okay, <laughs> we can make the Celestial Sigil, but there's really no point at this stage. Um, that's about it, wow, okay. Oh, there we go. Took a bit. Alright, the Dryad has arrived. Uh, just want to see if I can make anything with some pumpkin seeds. We're going to start planting some over here. Alright, since the goblin army has now been defeated, I'm going to go search for the goblin tinker. Oh my god, there he is. Quick, quick, quick. By that and by that. Alright, so the tinkerer's workshop, uh, I can't really um, upgrade my accessories or merge them together. It's going gonna, it's gonna to suck. Gonna take up a lot of my accessory slots, and they're not gonna be as good, obviously. So we're gonna have to choose carefully of which accessories we use. Uh, for now, though, I really need some more mana, and I think it's actually impossible for me to get mana stars. So I'm gonna upgrade all of my uh, accessories and reforge them into the arcane uh, modifier. Alright, now I'm going to go to the Sky Islands. I'm not going to upgrade the Cloud in a Bottle. Um, I'm going to try to find the Fledgling Wings, if possible. That way I don't take fall damage. Got a shiny red balloon. There we go, perfect. Alright. I think the next step I'm gonna do is uh, go to, to the jungle and then get my health to 400 and then we're gonna go into the dungeon. Also let's check what these types of wood or this type of wood can uh, make us. Wait we can make- oh my- we can make vortex fragments. Oh. Wait wouldn't these things sell for a lot? Oh my god. Oh my god there's so many life crystals here. All right, let's just start it up.
There we go. Alright, now let's pick up this alchemy table and also the bewitching table for later on. Bone welder though, is that from this? It's definitely from this place. Is it inside like one of the chests? Oh my god, yes it is. Okay, okay. Alright, I think it's time we fight the wall of flesh. We've got, uh, I think, I think this leaf blower will do. Alright guys, so apparently, um, all my recipes got randomized again. I'm not really sure how this happened, but I, yeah, I don't remember being able to make these items before. And also, we can now make mana crystals with 15 tungsten bars, but we need an anvil. Um... Yeah, so I guess maybe after some time the recipes get randomized again? I'm not really sure. But we're just gonna have to go with it. Oh wow, we can- wait, we can make the flare on. One topaz, ten torch? Sure. Okay. Wait, this is gonna be really good. I don't need to rely on the leaf floor anymore. This should this weapon should be better than the leaf blower. All right, now I can reforge all my accessories, get more defense because right now I only have six. I don't think I'll be using the leaf blower anymore. Oh, we can make Sinx's wings. Okay. Replace our fledgling wings. All right, and we reach the end of the map. Three, two, one. Uh, three, two, one. There we go. Okay, let's go. So this shouldn't be a problem. Alright. Easy peasy. Alright, what I'm going to do now is make another NPC house because we're going to try to get the, uh, I think the builder and then he can sell us a furnace. But apparently I won't be able to make one and I'm not really sure how long it takes for the recipes to randomize again. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. Oh, is this him? The architect? It is! Here we go. So it should be here, right? Yes, okay. Alright, my recipes reset again. And it looks like we can make platinum coins. Huntress pants. 12 defense, okay. We do need that since we don't have any leggings at the moment. We should probably stockpile on the coins. Just so... When the uh, thing does reset. I'll have enough money. Oh so after God. a few more okay. resets on the randomizer, I was able to get the Terra Prisma, Wait, pickaxe the pickaxe axe, <laughs> finally an upgrade from the copper uh, pickaxe that I had for so long. Oh, I also got yes. the solar flare hammocks, oh, yes, okay. Ankh shield, Scourge of the Corruptor, Scourge of the Corruptor Sky wow. Dragon's Fury, and the Stardust Dragon Staff. Dragon Staff. We're good then. And for the mounts, right. I got the Queen Slime Mount and Witch's Broom. Ooh, so Witch's I'm broom all set to fight really the mechanical nice bosses. Well. However, after all those resets, I was never able to get a recipe to make the summons. Except the mechanical eye. I had to use 5 bamboos and, and 3 torches done. to make it. Okay, and waiting for that recipe took a very very long time. For the fight. sake of saving time, I decided oh, to download forever. a different mod. Alright guys, I had to switch over to a different mod. Having the boss recipes randomized, um, it was just going to take really long. And I don't want to spend all that time just, you know finding the right recipes, getting the right materials for it. So I have another mod. Um, it's exactly the same almost, except I can whitelist or choose like specific items that aren't randomized. So I just chose obviously the mechanical boss summons. Um, they're going to use the same materials as before the original. So it's going to be much easier for me to actually progress through the game. But yeah, that's about it. So I'm going to need to search for 
some souls of light, souls of night, and then I do have enough iron bars and bones. Okay, there we go. Now we just need to go over here. Get souls of night. Alright. Should be good now. There we go. Oh, that took so long. Okay. Definitely should have used uh, this mod uh, for the beginning. Alright, let's go. No more wasting time. Oh my god, look at that damage. Alright, that's one down. Let's do the twins next. Alright, twins down. Last one, mechanical or the destroyer. There we go. That was so fast. Wait, we can make Zenith? What? We need 12 hidden bars. Oh, okay. I guess I need to kill Golem first before we can start mining these bricks and get the, and then we can get the pickaxe or pick saw. All right, let's go find Plantier now and then we can go kill Golem. Wait, these chests can have just like regular tin bars? Oh, I need 12 though. Okay, we'll take these for now. Oh, let's go. Oh, hoo -hoo, there it is. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, I don't need any other weapons. So goodbye. We'll keep the summoner weapons, though. Okay, now let's reforge. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, perfect. All right, and now we just wait for a Plantera bulb to spawn. Oh, right here. Okay, never mind. Let's go down here then. There it is. Okay, let's just get right into it. Oh my god. All right, Plantera's done. Now we can go into the ju or the temple. All right, let's go right away. Let's just kill it a few more times. Cause why not? Wait, I might be dead here. I slipped on the traps. Oh! Fully forgot to clear out the traps because I had the zenith, so I was like, okay, you know what? I should be good, right? But I'm not invincible. All right, we can go to the dungeon now and kill the lunatic cultist. That is done. Okay. Now for the most dreaded part. The Celestial Pillars. I mean, with the Zenith, it should be alright, but still. Takes way too long. Alright, Nebula Pillar down. Vortex Pillar down. Two more to go. 
Last pillar to go. Alright, here we go. Moon Lord time. Alright, let's go. Let's not kill both of its hands. Oh, maybe. We nah, never mind. We have to. No. No, 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 no. Okay. I went, I went up too high so I couldn't get on top of the laser. There we go. Oh, kill the hearts, kill the hearts. Woo! Let's go. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the Terraria randomizer. Um, if you did, obviously, hit the thumbs up, comment down below, and also subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all next time. Peace.